Welcome back to more Nanao Reincarnation. Here we are, 15 minutes after Yumi left. I head for the shopping district and enter a fast food restaurant near the cafe. Remember, she's meeting up with Nishida. From there, I view the hidden camera stream from my phone to figure out what's going on. I can't listen to the audio from the police microphone, but apparently the camera can also pick up sounds. So I stare at the screen and listen with earphones. Neither the video nor the sound are clear. Still, they're good enough to assess Yumi's situation. And there's one thing I notice. Person sitting at a table near Yumi. People passing by. They all cast frequent glances at the camera. I know why. They're staring at where the camera is. Yumi's boobs, to be exact. She's got great boobs. True. It is the fate. I hear Eo's voice in my ear. We're using a voice call app so we can communicate anytime. Looks like she had the same thoughts. But it's really amazing. Everyone just keeps glancing at her breasts. The person sitting diagonally opposite from her keeps glancing every 10 seconds even. My god. Yumi might have noticed that she sometimes shifts her angle she's seated at for Yumi. What the heck am I watching? It's not even showtime yet, but I'm already feeling uneasy. Stop it. Don't look. She's my girlfriend. Herbs. I switch mental gears and acknowledge the report. Then I send a telepathic message to Iris, who's right beside Yumi. Nishida will be there soon. Hey, always there too, right? She's not responding. Get your act together, okay? Screw up this time and a mere apology will not suffice. You... Focus! What are you doing? Oh my god, she's eating their food? I let out a huge sigh. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but Aoi doesn't feel the pressure at all. I'm just supposed to wait here, but I'm getting worried. I'm too worried. I tell Eo I'm changing locations and get up from my seat. I leave the store and watch the cafe from a slight distance. Nishida isn't here yet, so Yumi's sitting alone at her table. Let me see. Aoi and Iris are... There they are. Aoi stretching out her hand toward a customer sandwich while Iris is trying to stop her. Aoi laughs. I'm pretty sure she's saying, no problem, they won't find out. Iris hears the sign points outside the store. That must make Aoi take notice of me. After freezing up momentarily, she sits on a vacant chair with a cool face. She's really helpless. She's just way too lax. Aoi. <laughs> I'm begging you. You'll cause a commotion if they notice food suddenly disappearing. Snitch the food, that's not good. I'll scold you later. No dinner for you tonight. Like what? Huh? Uh, hello? Why didn't you fucking tell me this? Beforehand. We lock eyes the moment I turn around as he passes me by after a casual exchange of greetings. After that, I leave the area, try my best to look natural. Crap. I messed up from the get-go. What if he saw our phone? What if he saw the stream? Shut up, you told me too late. <clears throat> yes, please. I hear the noisy audio around that same time as Iris' telepathy. I glance at my phone. Nishida. He looks to be without a care in the world. Io, Yumi just made contact with Nishida. Did better. Let's hope it all goes according to plan. I end my conversation with Io and strain my ears to listen as I walk. 
making some small talk first. Come on, Yumi, you gotta act cool, man. Or maybe she's playing the whole shy, bashful act. I mean, she's clearly nervous, but maybe it can come off as that. Okay. Throw the drink in his face and storm out. Okay, if you ever go on a date, that's not the thing to say. That just comes off as creepy no matter who you are. Touch your hair later. And normally you'd think this was his way of flirting. Though it's a strange way of flirting. It's not like that in his case. Looks like it. Hey, well, Iris, be careful. He plans to do it today. Oh, God. How can I just kill him already? No, we've already agreed death was too good for him. That's not our objective, right? Resist. Only attack him if Yumi is in any danger. To be honest, I want to say do it. I really did. Because of this guy's insane desires, Siori, Kirara, and Kodori were... <sighs> we gotta keep a calm head here. Already talking so casually to her. That pisses me off, but another thought comes to mind that terrifies me. He's talking about me. He passed by me, I had no choice. I'm sorry! No, don't say he's your boyfriend. Friend, huh? What were you gonna say? He's your boyfriend, and like, then I'll be pissed off. Like, why'd you lead me on to a date if you were already together with somebody? Yeah, exactly. Raise his hopes up. That's the whole point. Shut up! I know. He mocks me with her cackling, but thanks to that, I'm able to regain my cool. Yumi is trying her best, considering the situation. I can't just lose my cool over something so petty. We just got here. Uh, uh, oh wait, no, they were meeting at a cafe, and then we're gonna go somewhere else to eat. The situation's changing. Seems like they're leaving the cafe. I wonder where they're headed. Man, it's gonna be a pain if they get in a vehicle, because I don't have one. Oh, pick the place. Yumi turns quiet, huh? Oh no, really? wants to eat his cooking what the heck so they're asking her to lead him on that's true they want her to see the bodies well fine by me but that's too much for Yumi she's already a, such a shy girl Huh? That stopped me in my tracks. What did he just say? I can cook anything. Oh yeah, that's right. Shida gets up from his seat. Hey. Hey, I didn't expect him to offer. That is very bold. But he's killed three people and gotten away with it, so I assume any killer would probably be bold by this point. 
He's being a big help since it speeds things up for us. It pisses me off, though. I mean, killing her has always got on his mind. Hey, Oli Iris, take utmost precautions. But we don't give a shit, okay? Feel the pressure, okay? Hi. I weakly changed my direction. I need to get there before they do. Yo, I'm off to this house too. Roger that. Ooh, that's a good point. I'll be careful. Got it. He might suddenly attack Yumi when they're alone, so don't let your guard down. Absolutely. As long as you don't kill him. I hurry on ahead while talking to Aoi and Iris. It's not like I can do anything special, really. But I just want to witness that moment. We almost have him in a checkmate. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Sun sets as I walk, so it becomes easier for me to hide myself. But there are people on their way back from work or school. There are passerby here and there too. I could meet up with Mazasa and have a chat with her so no one would suspect us, but it still feels uncomfortable. Still, thanks to the people around, there's no risk of Yumi getting attacked on the streets. Well, it might be easier to, for the police to arrest him if he attacks her, though. But Nishida arriving home is part of our plan, see? Because she has to witness the bodies. Please don't do anything funny yet. Oh, ah, yes, Roger. Miss Asuza pulls me into a narrow alley. They should be coming from our right. The moment they step inside the house, the final part of our plan should unfold. Just you wait. Your funeral rites are about to begin. Yeah, I'm positioned in a way that lets me see the entrance. Of course, never leave her side. And Iris. Hi. Sorry to keep asking you, but is everything ready? Roger. Yes, they're here. I pop my head out to take a glance, then immediately take cover and check my phone. They're slowly approaching Nishida's house. Are the ones giving orders to Yumi the infamous people from the first division? Hmm. I see. So, I switched from the stream to my messaging app. I message Yumi. AOI and Iris will join you inside, but don't close the door right away. No need to reply to this. Then I switch back to the stream and check that Yumi takes out her phone. Just to be sure, I stick out my head at an angle to see with my own eyes. Alright, you got the message. AOI and Iris are right beside her. They really have tightened senses. They notice me. Aoi waves her hand while Iris bows her head low. I don't know. We can't rely on them either way. This case is something we have to deal with on our own. Kotori and all the others. Sure. Well, Takumi doesn't seem to suspect anything so far, so maybe he doesn't know he's being followed and watched all the time. Strain my ears to listen to their voices through the earphones. No one to disturb you, eh? Thank goodness he's a moron. Finally showtime. I might sound like a broken record, but... Yeah, I'm counting on you two. Here we go, the moment of truth. Roger that. They're already inside his property. I can't watch him directly anymore. And so I simply just stare at my phone. Misasa also takes a peek. 
The lights turn on, which also makes my pitch black screen light up in turn, revealing the entrance in the hallway. They're inside. It's time. What? What happened? We hear a strange conversation. Yumi turns around to show us Nishida. He's frozen in an awkward position. Did he just... Hey, wait, Iris. Are you serious? Is everything alright? Roger that. Keep a hold on him for a while. Continue to hear their panicked voices through my earphones. I take my eyes off the screen for a moment to glance at Miss Asusa. She just tried to attack Yumi, Aoi and Iris are restraining him. That's exactly why there are three victims. Roger, so then. Hey, I keep him pinned down just like that. Yeah. Yeah, yo, know, it's about time to start. Oh, I will be giving him a really warm welcome. I'll make him piss his pants. Go on, Iris. The lights abruptly turn off. I can see several meters ahead thanks to the dim light outside, but the hallway is completely pitch black. I just remembered, even though it's a tad too late, that I haven't told Yumi about what's about to happen. I hear notification sound. I see the light from my phone. Yumi's checking the message I sent her. Once you see what you need to see, close your eyes. <laughs> Didn't seem to get it. Was my message too short and vague? I want to send a follow-up message, but it's too late now. <laughs> we hear noises from the end of the hallway. Screech goes the door as it opens. And then... <laughs> Their voices grow more tense as they hear the sound of something crawling. Beyond the door that just opened, something deep in the darkness. It approaches while making eerie noises, slowly, slowly. It closes in, little by little. Ah! Screams. The stream violently sways about. The camera shifts to a bad angle, broadcasting the stream over the wall. You're asking for too much here. Well, it's natural to panic if you see a corpse crawling on the floor. I didn't explain it to her either. But, wait, what? Shut up! Miss Asa's even more scared than Yumi. You knew about this. I told you this would happen. Well, okay, I'm also spooked, but it's a secret to everybody. I think this is just the beginning. He really turns away from the screen and mutters, I'm so scared to herself several times while leaning on the wall. Someone's already raised the white flag here, but we can't have that for the two on the screen. The paranormal activity continues. Now there's a dismembered head. It comes flying at top speed from a room further down, still floating. It glares down at Nishida.
their voices make it sound like they're half crying. I'd probably wet my pants in the same situation, but only if I didn't know about them. She's <laughs> awfully happy she's holding her dismembered head. Also that she's dragging a corpse on the wall, or on the floor. She seems very pleased about that. Although they're finally getting revenge, so I guess they would be happy, right? Oh god, you pulled the arm off. I can hear their voices in my head. They seem to be enjoying themselves. I can't see it on the screen, but they're probably having a blast. Especially Karara, who wanted to tell Nishida something. Poltergeists. They're ghosts with strong spiritual powers that can apparently do things like this. I knew Karara was one. That There was that incident back at the construction site to confirm that fact, after all. I did know about Sierra's powers, though. Still, looks like she's one based on this. The plan was to help them take revenge, but... Sora laughs with all her might. Sayori is also excited. I'm glad they're having fun, but I didn't expect it to be this extreme. They've really gone above and beyond. Fine, dismembered head. It's just way too much. Yumi, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry for scaring the hell out of you. much therapy after this. Yeah, why isn't she already ran? Yeah, she's already saw the bodies. Let her go. It didn't appear like Yumi leaped out from the door that suddenly flung open. Iris probably pushed her out then. From what I could make out, she was still frozen in fear. The door slams shut right after that, making us unable to tell what's happening inside. Nishida screams do echo outside, though. The haunted house is in session. Serves him right. Alright. Yumi seems, uh, mostly safe. Physically, not mentally. I'm almost done with everything. Miss Asuza, can I go fetch Yumi now? <laughs> How long are you going to continue cowering in fear? <laughs> Sure, alright. With a wry smile, I emerge from the alley and head toward Nishida's house. Yumi slumped down at the entrance. Yumi? <laughs> hey, calm down. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah, I figured. Uh, Yumi, you're acting out of character. Well, yeah, this, this was the plan. Uh, so I forgot to tell you. I'm sorry. It was also part of the original plan to get you to believe in ghosts. If you didn't believe me prior to this. But I've already forgotten that. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry, I really am. Oh. He leaps into my arms, her eyes filled to the brim with tears. This is a rare sight. Yumi's usually so shy. I feel sorry for scaring her, but I feel like I benefited off of it. Sorry once again. Eh, 
今気になることをおっしゃっていませんでした This Asuza, who's apparently finally recovered, makes her staged appearance while flashing her police ID. This is where they arrest Nishida upon hearing that there were dead bodies in the house. It's annoyingly complicated, but we finally have evidence we can use. Getting to this point was a long process. So, what did you see? What? 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 A man I don't recognize interrupts you, meaning and Miss Asuza. Must be an officer from the first division. Miss Asuza can't seem to hide the scowl on her face. Flashes a condescending look at Miss Asuza and pulls Yumi away. Ah, I understand. No wonder Miss Asuza rants about them all the time. They're mean. Bunch of bakas. They treat you that badly. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I completely forgot about you. Yeah, Nishida should also be. <laughs> Nishida leaps out the front door and sprints at full speed. Several officers run after him while shouting at him to stop. <laughs> terrified. Completely terrified. That's karma for you. Yeah. I end the call and glance up at Nishida's house. Several officers attempt to enter, and as they do, Ao and Iris emerge. Ferrar and Sarai are both here. They look satisfied. Looks like they feel a little better. Yeah, good job. Y'all did well. Good job, you two. Thanks for your cooperation. こちらこそ。ありがとうございました。そうそう。お礼言うのこっちっしょ。ありがとう。Feel better? Hmm. See, so you're not all good yet. And well, let me know if there's anything I can do. Hmm. Huh? What do you mean? あいつが逮捕される瞬間みたいの。つか、できれば死刑になるまで。満足したらできとうに消えるからさ。それまで自由にさせてくんない。あ、I got it. Then flies in the direction that she just sprinted off to. Oh yeah, that's right, ghosts can fly. I'm so dumb for forgetting that. So we won't see each other again. Please rest in peace, Karara. Oh, it's nothing. I think your wish will be granted soon. Your body's seen better days, though. 
私の体があんな状態になっていたなんてでも帰れるだけ嬉しいですこれでお父さんとお母さんに会えますではまたそのうち疲れてしまったので今日は戻ります両親に会えたらご報告に伺いますね OK I'll be waiting はいでは The head bowed low, Siori fades away Well, I never saw her when she actually transformed her little horns. Yeah, I mean, we're almost there. We're at the home stretch.、Uh, oh, you saw the ghosts in rain, didn't you? Whatever you say. もうほんとそれせめて鏡家の外では消えてほしいおそらく力の強いマスターに引っ張られて完全に覚醒してしまったのでしょうねご愁傷<笑>つらいこの体質つらい<笑>誠君。あのね、これから詳しい話を聞きたいからって、警察署に行かなくちゃいけないみたいで。Oh, I see. Can you do it alone? うん、大丈夫。全部話してくれ。見たこと全部。Good girl. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, take care.、Uh. Yumi rides the police car with Misasuza. The door slams shut and the car drives away. This, you know, it's finally over. The case I've been following all this time has finally come to an end. No, you ate all that food. You're paying them back. For all that food. Sounds good, Iris. Let's hold hands. You're sweet. Aww. I'm just kidding. Here you go. Don't forget, you'll get a scolding later. Don't sulk. I'll let you have dinner, okay? Come on. Let's head home. We hold hands and walk on. Police officers keep pouring out in front of Nishida's house. Nishida will eventually get the punishment he deserves. Kodori. But it's over. It's finally over.